Hello, my name is David Giles and I work for Hitex Development Tools. This is a short presentation on importing and exporting test data from TESI, the unit testing tool, using Excel spreadsheets. Okay, so we're inside TESI now, the unit testing tool from RazorCat. Um, I've created uh, a module called Temperature Check, which comprises of one C source file. Uh, the purpose of this C source uh, code is to examine an input parameter called temperature and to determine whether we have a frost warning condition or not. Um, it's a signed parameter and its normal range is, is between minus 100 and plus 100 and it will return a value which is an unsigned char and it, that will take on the value of either uh, false uh, which is a hash defined value of 255 false which again is a hash defined value this time of zero or a, a value of true which has a, a hash defined value of one and you can see here that the software checks to see whether the operation uh, uh, is within its normal operating range of minus 60 to plus 80 um, if it's outside of the um, operating range it returns with a value of false uh, otherwise if uh, it, otherwise if the temperature is less than 3 degrees it will return with a value of true and uh, if the temperature is greater than 3 degrees it will return with a value of uh, false so it's a very very simple function and what we're going to do is we're going to use a spreadsheet uh, to input data uh, and expected return values uh, for this uh, for this function So returning back to TESI, I will generate a first test condition for us, a test case. I click on add test case. Uh, a white box indicates that uh, we have no test data uh, present. I'll double click on this and fill in some values for uh, test data. I'll do this initially with for the first test case. So I'll have a value of minus 100 degrees and we'll have a uh, expected return value of fault for this so minus 100 degrees in our frost warning software will generate a return value of fault I close the test data editor and you'll notice that the white icon has now changed to a yellow icon to indicate we have complete test data I highlight the test case come up to the tools menu bar and from here I will select import export I make sure that the export radio icon box is ticked here and then click on start and Tessie will now generate an Excel spreadsheet for us the advantage of doing it this way is that Tessie will pre-format the spreadsheet for us with all the columns and all the parameters that we require to subsequently fill in additional test information okay so Tessie has now finished exporting that so let's have a look at the spreadsheet which has been generated I come down here into the file system and then find the spreadsheet which Tessie has generated I double click on the spreadsheet and you can see that uh, Tessie has provided us with a spreadsheet with several tabs uh, available on it we have a generals tab a properties tab uh, and the most important one is the uh, values tab so if I click on the values tab and I just open it up to make it a little easier to distinguish between the columns you can see that Tessie has provided us with two columns full of uh, test data which it has uh, derived from the first test case which we exported here we have a parameter called temperature and its passing direction is reflected in this column here which is an I and I also have the return value um, of the function called frost check and its passing direction uh, is O for output and you can see the first case test case 1 test step 1 has a value of minus 100 and the return value is fault we can now fill in additional information uh, into here so I can have uh, a series of test cases so minus 100 degrees, minus 80, minus 61 and minus 60 60 and 61 are the boundary values where the operation of the instrument actually changes 
can have some typical values. Naught is a good one. Three is very interesting, and four because those are both boundary values. Um, I have a typical British summer, 25 degrees, and then I'll have um, the upper boundary conditions, which is 80, 81, and then I'll have one final test case at 100 degrees. So now I have to fill in the expected return parameters, um, and because it's in a spreadsheet, I can use all the normal uh, shortcuts uh, to enable me to, to fill in large blocks of test data um, very quickly. Uh, so at minus 60 degrees I expect the frost warning to come on and I expect it to remain on until it gets to 4 degrees at which point it then goes off. Uh, so, so we now have um, uh, inputted a series of um, additional information. Um, I, I do not need to fill in um, this column uh, A on the right hand side. Um, if I come back to the properties tab which you can see at the bottom I have the opportunity to put a name against each particular test case um, and a description um, so if I put one in here absolute um, coldest and the, the specification is uh, test at minus 100 degrees um, and similarly here um, I think the next one was minus 80 degrees um, so I can put um, typical out of range um, as a description and here again in the specification I could put you know test at 80 uh, degrees I won't fill all of these in but you you kind of get the uh, the idea I will fill in the uh, the numbers also on the left hand side uh, down here I don't need to do uh, all of them and then I close the spreadsheet down and then I come back into uh, TESI uh, if I highlight test case number one and then click on tools import only test case number one will be updated if I make sure none of the test cases are highlighted and then I come up onto the tools menu and click on import export um, I will select uh, import and uh, the name of the spreadsheet and click on start and Tessie will open the spreadsheet and import the data. I'm being prompted now to overwrite the existing test case and click on yes and the spreadsheet has now been fully imported and as you can see uh, we have a, a description now for the two uh, test cases and uh, we also have the specification uh, information as well. If I highlight all of these and click on the razor cat icon I can now uh, generate some test information for us. We can run the test to see whether these test cases will pass or fail. And the tests have been executed and as you can see we have 12 past test cases. If I click on the monitoring icon we can get some information on uh, code coverage and as you can see here uh, we have 100% MCDC coverage, we have 100% branch coverage and when I highlight on the diamond we get the atomic um, decision truth table for that particular uh, if statement. So if temperature is less than minus 60 or temperature is greater than 80 uh, you can see that we have five test cases which took the uh, the true path and uh, we have seven test cases which took the, um, the else um, path um, and you can see also from the table um, that we've satisfied um, the uh, requirements for 100% MCDC uh, coverage on there. And that completes this short presentation on importing and exporting test data from TESI. Thank you. For those customers in UK and Ireland, you can find additional information on TESI, the unit testing tool from RazorCat, on the Hitex website www.hitex.co.uk or please contact myself, David Giles, on djiles at hitex.co.uk. For other regions, please contact my colleague Frank Buchner on frank.buchner at hitex.de